Hi, this is Paul, and today I want to talk about nesting compositions. Now, if you're still new to After Effects, you may only be using compositions to create your main workspace. But where the real power comes from is when you start creating multiple compositions and embedding them in other compositions. And what I mean by that is using them just as regular layers. Just as you would put an image or a movie file into a composition, you can take other compositions and put them into a composition. Now, I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. Here I have a parent composition, and this is of like a control room or some, you know, techie environment, and we have all these screens up here. Now what I've done is I've replaced the content of three of these screens with just a little bit of a, like a, you know, old TV noise sort of a preset from After Effects. But what if I wanted to replace all of them at the same time and have them play something uh, in sync with each other. Well, I could have three different layers and make sure they're all synced up perfectly and work them all together. Or, like I've done here, I can use a single composition, duplicate it three times in this parent composition, and then any changes I make in this TV content composition that I've created will be reflected in the three times it's in here. So I'll show you what I mean. When I go to TV content, you'll see here's that little old TV effect that I've applied. So let's say I want to do something a little different. So I'll delete these and I'll just create a dark red solid that fills the whole composition. And I'm just going to very quickly add in a uh, color change to it. And maybe we'll just adjust the hue over five seconds. We'll do a full rotation of the hue. So over the course of five seconds, we get that. Now, I've changed that composition. So let's go back to the parent composition. And there it is, reflected all three times. And you can see as I go throughout time, all three compositions are reflecting the same thing. And so that's a really quick and easy way to make sure you're getting the most out of the work you're doing. So in this case, I did a little bit of work. I tried to position these over the screen. I used uh, the corner pin effect to position these. And if I had done this with a layer, so if I had taken this layer and just made it in here in the first place and done a corner pin and then corner pinned it onto this one and then move this over here and then did it again for another screen. So I'll duplicate this deep red solid and again adjust the corner pin and move it over here. If I want to make a change to these screens, I'm going to have to do it for each and every one of these layers that I've created. By doing it as a nested composition, I only have to make the change once. And so that can save you a lot of time. If you have any questions about nested compositions or organizing compositions in general, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to answer it the best as I can.